Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. If this is your first time visiting or you visit me on my YouTube channel, you know that I make videos about cutting the cord. Now in order to cut the cord, uh, you have to get rid of services from your internet service provider, your ISP. They offer uh, cable TV uh, with packages that you pay up to $120 a month. You also can get f a phone service through them uh, where you pay $20 a month minimum and you get a telephone number and you connect your phone to it and you make phone calls and receive phone calls. Then you also have web access where you pay about $50 a month to get high speed web service. Now, to cut the cord, you have to get rid of at least two of these services. You need internet access, of course, because you want to visit web pages. So basically, you're going to save yourself a lot of money if you get rid of two of the three services, your telephone and the cable TV. But when you get rid of your cable TV, you have to download torrents, uh, download movies and videos and illegal uh, copyrighted content from the internet. And when you do this, you put yourself at risk of getting a strike or a fine or losing your internet service or even serving jail time because your external IP address is reported to whatever site you go to. It's reported to detectives and stupers that want to get your external IP address. They want to report it to your uh, internet service provider that puts your external and your internal together. Uh, your internal is safeguarded by your cable provider, but they find out who you are. They send you a strike, a fine, jail time, blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, another way is to get rid of the telephone service. Uh, the telephone cable company, they offer you a voice over internet provider and they have their own little uh, machines that they connect to your internet service and they give you a phone number. But you can also use something like this called a NetTalk and the NetTalk is a little device that you connect to your internet service. Uh, you can even port over your phone number and you pay $20 a year. I'm giving away uh, this on this video and the next two videos. Uh, if you put a comment saying that you shared, say that you want to win the net talk and give me a link to where you shared it. I don't care where you share it. You can uh, share it on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Pinterest, anything you want, as long as you give me the link to it and show me that you shared. Um, so we can cut two services out. Now, in the past, I showed you videos about seed boxes and FTP clients and using VPNs. Now, VPN is the best way to protect your external IP address from whoever needs to try to get your IP address to report you for downloading copyrighted material. Now, when you subscribe to a VPN service, you basically connect to their server it located outside of your house in some state, in some country, and the external IP address that's reported to anyone trying to get your IP address, including your internet service provider, uh, gets their external IP address. And then when they go to try to search who's downloading this stuff, they see the VPN service and they say, nothing we can do about it. Uh, he's hidden. Well, they could try to get the logs from the VPN, but uh, some internet, uh, ser uh, some VPN services don't keep logs. So in its essence, you don't have any, they don't have any way to get, uh, find out who's downloading these torrents or movies and things like that. Uh, so when you get this VPN service, they send you a configuration file. You throw it into software on your phone, Windows, Mac, Linux. Uh, there's a software called OpenVPN or in, on the Mac, it's TunnelBlick. Uh, or they even have their own little software that you put your configuration file in and your phone now uh, you can connect to the VPN service uh, with a touch of a button. Uh, just like I have here, I have a uh, app on my phone that I just slide over the on button and I connect to a uh, VPN and now I'm protected. On your Mac, you pretty much connect and hit it like this. Now, I'm going to show you today a very special way, uh, a way that I ha I've been searching for uh, that I do not see anywhere on YouTube, and it's a way to connect, um, way to use a router on your on your internet. So basically, you would go up, and you would have three choices or two choices of two separate routers on your network in your home, connected to your cable modem, 
And if you connect to one of the routers, you get your normal service, uh, like an Airport Extreme. Uh, and you also have your uh, second router that has VPN, OpenVPN, installed on it. The problem is Airport Extreme doesn't have any way to configure an OpenVPN. Matter of fact, your Netgear, your Linksys, they don't have software on there that allows you to put an OpenVPN as well. So not, it's not just Apple. But there is a way to use your old router or use the router that you're currently using that's not an Airport Extreme and put specialized software, firmware on it that allows you to configure the OpenVPN. So now you don't have to remember to click on the app and connect to a VPN service. You basically just connect to that router and you get VPN service or you connect to your Airport Extreme and you get it. Now on, on YouTube, what I couldn't find is a way to use your cable modem that comes from your cable company and connect an Airport Extreme and connect a custom Netgear router or Linksys or whatever with the special software on it that allows you to configure a VPN on the same, at the same time. I've seen other routers like two Netgears uh, and I've seen even the Netgear installed in between the cable modem and the airport extreme but i did not see a video with this connected distally and still be able to use your airport stream now i'm going to show you different commands that you got to put in and all that stuff and that's going to be in the next video and then i'm going to also show you about pia that's private internet access that's an open vpn service and i'm going to show you how to configure that on this router so the video is going to be way too long if I don't break it up. Remember this video and the next two videos, or maybe in three, three, four, you know, four videos in total, you can, you can try to win this in the giveaway uh, by putting your link in where you shared it and saying, I want to win. The good news is when you have this set up with the router with the VPN on it, you can use it with your Apple TV. Now I showed you how to put Kodi and other apps, uh, I'll show you, other apps like this that are side-loaded onto your Apple TV, which you can use Kodi, and you even have like live HD now, where you got channels that are live stream, uh, and you know, you get all these free channels. Of course, this is all copyrighted material. Uh, you're not subscribed to it, so you're doing it illegally, but if you have a VPN on that router, because, you know, the Apple TV doesn't have any spot where you can put an open VPN in it. So you just connect to that router and now you're protected. So stay tuned for the next two, three videos. Make sure you get into the giveaway. And I will see you on those videos. Thank you.